Hey everybody, welcome to Yakuza. Wait, I think this is too loud. Testing, one, two, okay. I think that's okay. Or, okay, uh, I think this needs to be a little more far further back, okay. Alright, so uh, today I'm playing Yakuza like a dragon for the very first time. So, I think everything is optimized, so. Wait. Or easy to see. Uh, okay. Legendary first aid kit? Ooh, okay. This is a work of fiction names, characters, business, places. Uh, okay, got it. <laughs> Chapter 1, Light and Shadow. Long have I waited for this day. I know you can't have forgotten my face. Do not pretend otherwise. Iamon was the name of the courtier you murdered in Suriga. That man was my father. You don't mean. You're that girl from before. I'm not that girl anymore. I am a vagrant on a quest for vengeance. Do you know how many times I've awoken in the night, having dreamt of drawing this dagger? Today, finally, my blade will have its due! Quiet! Men, have your way with her! <laughs> Wow. Huh. You actually believe I would ever let myself be cut down by a mere woman? I will teach you your place. For I am none other than the fearsome Ginji the Slasher, the legendary terror of Edo! There's always something in those samurai movies back then. You do like those like flash dashes, and then you don't know who the victor is until like a few you seconds fool later. Of a man. Genji the slasher is none other than I. Did you see that? Father. Is he smiling? Oh, he is. Okay. <laughs> Man, what year is this? Maybe like 1960? Or maybe, no, maybe, maybe uh, 1980s. That confetti. No. Not yet. Then what are you sitting around for? We leave for Osaka in the morning. <laughs> Look at you. You got the audience to its feet and suddenly you think you're a star? This kind of money is nothing, so don't let it go to your head. You ungrateful little brat! Don't you look at me like that. I can't believe this is how you treat your mother. She's his mother? 
some kind of dysfunctional family. Make the next cut even deeper. And this time, not even your makeup will hide it. Yoko, stop it. <laughs> Don't you dare try to order me around, Toshio. Who do you think keeps this whole damn show running? Tora-chan! Shall we go to Motomachi tonight? Hmm? Are you sure? What? Who cares about all this? She's cheating right in front of her husband? What a bitch. should have time to finish it in the truck tomorrow. I may never be an award-winning actor, but I've always been a masterful confetti cutter. Every actor needs a backup plan. <laughs> what do you say we hit the town tonight? See the sights of Yokohama. Just the two of us. Come on. Okay. Yeah. I think that's his father. I'm getting hints that it is his father. But... Yeah, so way back when. So, Masumi, did you say goodbye to all your friends in Yokohama? I don't have any friends. What's the point if you switch schools every month? Come on, don't be like that. You know, when I was your age, my parents wouldn't even let me go to school. Must have lived in a poor family or hey, a very neglectful one. Why don't we treat ourselves today? I know. How about Peking duck, the king of Chinese food? Ah, the duck is dried in the sun, then roasted, and the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. If it's the king of Chinese food, it must be expensive. <laughs> don't you worry about that. Indulging ourselves for one night won't break the bank. Hey Remy, thank you, thanks for the lurk. I hope you're uh, well rested from last night. And uh, I apologize for calling you tired. I, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Whoa, Masumi, you're going to get full if you keep eating those, you know. Remember, these appetizers are just the bit players. The main course has yet to take the stage. Yeah, I know. I'm going to the bathroom before the star gets here. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, because, uh... As long as you're okay, that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I can never do 12 hour... 12 hour... Oh, what the... <gasps> no! He was just taking a bathroom break. No, what? Oh, what? No, why? Dad? Oh, it is his dad. Dad? So messed up. Oh, he's all grown up now. It's almost New Year's. Here we are, the last day of the 20th century. 
Asami Arakawa, patriarch of the Arakawa family at uh, Otojo. And all I can think about is what I want for lunch. Hey, Ichi. I sent Ichi out to do collections. Joe Sawashiro, captain of the Arakawa family at Tojo clan subsidiary. On New Year's Eve? If there's money on the streets and there's work to be done, Yakuza don't get holidays in Kamarocho. Life's a bitch, then you die. How, uh, is this as fast as I can run? Ah, the thrill of the chase. Navigate the city without... Damn... <laughs> yeah, those nasty words. Wait, hold on. Let me give you sh a quick shout out. I don't know who's lurking back there, but... Uh, for those who are lurking, please uh, follow Remy Replay. She... she uh, like... To live up to her name, she does replay a lot of old games and also new ones <laughs> and uh tries to uh like speed run for some of them like resident evil 2 um and resident evil 3 right have you done have you tried resident evil 3 oh yeah i think it's uh, yeah i think you did do resident evil 3 sorry but yeah um she's she's very friendly very um very entertaining even with her ddr stuff that's that's pretty that's pretty like <laughs> not on stream but i love nemi <laughs> nemi as a nemesis oh, okay. you know oh no this game is great kind of way <laughs> yeah i mean i still gotta i still gotta play the the remake I haven't played uh, RE2 Remake or RE3 Remake, but um, I'll do that after my Resident Evil 8 Village playthrough. Um, ah, the thrill of the chase. Navigate the city without bumping into obstacles by pressing the displayed inputs to catch up with your target. Um, the distance gauge track tracks how far the target needs to get before you lose them. Okay. This. All right. Stop, damn it! Okay, this is as fast as I can run. Give up already. Wait, I can cut corners though. Oh, oh crap! There's quick time events. This is me not. Not memorizing the uh, Xbox controller. <laughs> okay, so Stop, X, B, Y, and... Did I lose him? Oh, okay. <laughs> Looks like I shook him off. No. What kind of videos are those, porno? Ushio, pal. I know you're not an idiot. Why did you think you'd get away with hawking this? There's nothing illegal about selling animal fuck videos. Ew. Believe me, it's educational. Oh, I believe you. The problem is you were calling it uncensored porn and selling it to dumb, horny kids. Come on, Ichiban, do me a solid. Remember all the good times we had in middle school? And let's be real, it's not like this is hurting the Yakuza's bottom line. Actually, it is. Big time. Kids these days are entitled, man. They'll come bitching the Arakawa family about porn scammers on our turf. We can't have that kind of shit staining our good name. So come on, cough up the cash you squeeze out of them. Oh. 
Oh. Hey, did you forget who you're dealing with? Of course not. You're just some Yakuza street trash who's got to learn when to quit. You're less than shit. Choices, sure, talk about Ushio. During battle, you will select which actions to take using the commands menu in the bottom left corner of the screen. Select the attack command to attack with the weapon on hand. Give them, a, give that a shot. All right. Cool. Pissing your pants yet? Yeah, it definitely has those uh, Tekken, Tekken hits. <laughs> Like those uh, Tekken, uh, like, like whenever you like punch someone, it has like that kind of like misty impact. You know what I mean? I mean, it is by Sega, so. Oh, yeah. If you can select attack again before a fallen enemy gets back up, a regular attack will change to a powerful opportune strike. Opportune strikes really dish out. The pain, so take every chance you can get. Okay. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Cool. The red gauge at the bottom right is your energy or HP health points. If Kazuka's HP reaches zero, it's game over. HP can be recovered by using items. I'll take this opportunity to take a bite of your onigiri now. Any flavor will do. Awesome to add on it in character crate, yeah. Uh, salmon onigiri, seaweed onigiri, tuna onigiri. I mean, I don't really need it though, but I guess for the tutorial, we had to use it. Select guard for Kazuga to defend himself until his next turn. This will decrease the damage you take and protect against both bleeding and stun. If you know the enemy's next attack will be a powerful one, it might be best to put your guard up. Just a thought. Oh. Here we go. Cool. That's it for the tutorial. Time to teach Ushio a lesson. Holy crap, am I using a sign to hit him? Oh, and one last thing, if there's ever anything like a bicycle or a street sign near an enemy, a normal attack will change into a weapon attack, leading one to use, or in some cases, kick the nearby object to unleash some serious hurt. Alright. Easy pickings. Oh god. Oh, I meant, uh, I, I dodged it. That's, that's awesome. All right. Ooh. I'm level two. HP, MP, attack, ma magic. We can use magic. Wait. How is there magic in a realistic? <laughs> semi-realistic video game. <laughs> well, we'll see, I guess. I mean, the impacts have those misty, misty, like, colorful looks, so <laughs> maybe that's the magic. Healing, agility, dexterity, tenacious fist. Okay. Ichiban Kasuga of the Arakawa family. Ichiban Aniki! You okay? Mitsuo Yasumura. Oh, hell yeah. Check this out, man. Whoa, payday! <laughs> that guy was pretty fucking loaded. Yeah, he was always coming up with crazy business schemes back in the day. Well, some of them must have worked. The cash you got there might hit our quota today all by itself. What are you talking about? We're gonna give this all back to those kids. Uh, after all the work we did to get it, man? Yeah, dude. 
Hold up. You want me to track down every single kid this guy shafted? For real? Yes, for real. What part of this is hard to understand? <sighs> Nothing. I get it. <sighs> Fuck. Hey, look at this real quick. Huh? How bad is it? Fucker got me with his brass knuckles. Yeah, <laughs> you've got a good size lump there, dude. No, you idiot! I mean my hair! I just got it done! And it was looking real fresh, too. I can't believe this shit, stupid Ushio. <laughs> Let me see if I can fix it. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. You just gotta, you know... Don't touch it! I pay good money for this shit! There's nothing wrong with his hair, though. From what I'm seeing, I don't know. Damn, I choked. I took a bunch of hits to the face. <laughs> You're always getting pummeled there. I think you like it. You calling me a masochist? <laughs> Hell yeah. You always let him get some punches in, even when you could wipe the floor with him. I know how you fight hard when you wanna. Yes, I do let him do that. Pretty masochist, if you ask me. Unless you're trained to become a pro wrestler or something. Okay, fine. I guess I can see how it comes across that way. That ain't it. I'm just doing, you know, what a hero would do. A hero? Sure. I pretend I'm a hero when I fight. So what? When it's time to throw down, my brain just starts thinking in Dragon Quest terms. Dragon Quest terms. Again with the Dragon Quest? <laughs> nice. So great about it. Everything. It's an epic and dangerous journey, and that's exactly how I see real life. You do know you're a freaking Yakuza, right? If even one guy gets a lucky hit and it's all over for you, you realize that, dude? How many times has Captain Sawashiro told you that? I kill a guy over something as stupid as collections, that's when it's all over. Look, I like this life with Arakawa-san, the captain, and even your dumbass. I'm not gonna do anything to ruin that. The truth is, I never want to be at rock bottom again. Again? So, rock bottom was when you were cooped up in that Soapland office playing non-stop Dragon Quest? <laughs> Wouldn't be the man I am today without it. A cool guy, full of the bravery those games showed me. And what they didn't, Arakawa-san did. That's where you get all this hero crap, huh? <laughs> Maybe I should give this gamer shit a chance. Do it, man. But first, let's give that money back to the kids who got scammed. Oh, <laughs> right. Well, time to give those kids some refunds. Thanks. Hit me up at the SIG shop when you're done. Sure. Hey, Ichi. Old man Takeo, how the heck are you? Good, good. Hey, did you know Mama Michio is looking for you? She wanted you to swing by. What's she need with me? No clue. I'm just the messenger. <sighs> What's she gotten herself into now? Duty calls. Hi -ya! Oh, no, I see you. I, I just wanted to wait until the dialogue ended. But what's up, Min Animan Jr.? Welcome aboard. Welcome first place. First place aboard, you know. <laughs> um, how are you this this evening? Are you doing well? Oh, funny that you're using a slime. He was just talking about Dragon Quest. He's like, oh man, I want to be a hero. Because like whenever I think about being a hero, I think of Dragon Quest terms. So it's uh they had they had some like a, a sprinkle of Dragon Quest in in this game. Well like just talking about it. And I got See they got like part time hero dragon cart. I don't even know what that is, but but yeah, like the skills is kinda like Dragon Quest. I think. Oh you're playing Smash Bros? Wait, Smash, uh, like which which Smash Bros? Uh, the one on the Switch, the one on 
like the other consoles. Like, are you playing a uh, brawl or? Wait, so where am I supposed to? Oh. Wait, so how do I run? I do. Uh, I naturally, if you want to run, you click the left stick, but it doesn't do that. So I'm just walking. Okay, that's up directional is cell phone use. I guess. That's to toggle if I want the health and MP to show. Oh. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay, so A button toggles run. I mean, uh, like you press the A button to run, but like once you let go of it, it just resumes walking. So you gotta press a each time you want to run while you're moving. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. I'm just like so excited to run. <laughs> all right, um, all right. The gamer inside inside my soul is beckoning to like check each and every alleyway if there's like some secrets, but I doubt this is the game that has those kind of things. Wait, maybe it does. There's a bunch of restaurants and, and junk. Hey there, Ichi! You kept me waiting. Oh, ultimate? Nice. Have a drink with me, will ya? It's New Year's Eve. Wait, please don't tell me you were just looking for a drinking buddy. What? You were the only guy I knew who wouldn't have anywhere else to be on New Year's. <laughs> that's, serious? that's not true. I'm out here busting my ass making collections. Oh, well, look at you. So big and important. At least I'm not drunk. Hey, I've been drinking since before you were a twinkle in your dad's eye. What is that well, supposed to mean? Me now. Still gorgeous. Ow, her knees. She landed right on top of her knees. Uh, help out or scold sternly? What do you guys think? I think I should... Oh, you're playing online? No. You must be like a better... A better like ultimate player than I am. All I do is backslash myself to death. Because I use Shulk, but helper. Okay. All right. I'll be the nice guy. Keep telling yourself that. I mean, just because you're Yakuza doesn't mean you need to be an asshole. Your liver probably ain't so gorgeous. Keep it up, and your only drink's gonna be when they wash your Ooh, grave. My, my kindness stat increase. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> I do appreciate it. What time is it during the day? Like, why is she drinking now? She should at least wait until after 4 p.m. Kasuga's personality may improve depending on his actions. These traits represent Kasuga as a person, and refining them will earn a slew of perks and bonuses, such as unlocking new features or characters to talk to. Okay, so there's passion, style, intellect, kindness, charisma, and confidence. Hmm. Okay, so maybe confidence was that other choice? Because uh, if I, like, berate her, maybe, uh, maybe that builds my confidence. I don't know. The following are the six traits of Costco's personality, passion, confidence, charisma, da -da -da, style. Try out all different kinds of activities to make Costco the very best man he can be. You're back! Why'd you do me like that? Michio was just drunk off her ass. You're surprised? I haven't seen her sober in 20 years. Her and this town are just going to hell. 
Pick, there's some trouble at Shangri-La right now. Huh? What happened? I don't know the details, but you know how soap lands are. Yeah, maybe a customer got uppity with one of the girls. You ought to go check. Damn it. I guess soap lands are... Like... Brothels? Wait, no, not brothels. Uh, strip clubs? Or... Wait, no, it's not strip clubs. It's it's like a... It's like a man's gentleman's club, right? Something like, something like that. Ooh. Sorry, lady. I'm just trolling by playing Little Mac. Man, I could use a Big Mac right now, but... I... I'm waiting... until... Well, I can't eat meat right now. Ichi! Perfect timing. We've got a huge problem. What's wrong? The toilet's all clogged up and we can't find a plunger anywhere. A, a plunger? Plunger? Yeah, that thing you use when there's shit stuck in the pipes. Yeah, I know what it is, <laughs> but come on! We're Yakuza, not your handyman! Well, excuse me. I suppose it wasn't me who cleaned you up every time you shit yourself. Oh. I was a baby! <laughs> oh, you had accidents until fifth grade! Oh. One time! And my stomach was killing me that day! <laughs> Must have been the Lunchables. I don't even know if Lunchables existed during this era. Well, excuse me, princess. <laughs> sir, sir, shits a lot. <laughs> Ooh. ZXP gals? Super health play? Ooh. 8,000 8, yen? Man. A club golden house? I'd like to remind you guys that this is a mature stream. <laughs> I think I have a tag down there. Um, oh god. Okay, I can't, I can't do that right now. But I'm sure I have a tag that says mature. Oh, there's a panda. Panda mascot. Come on, you gotta pay your taxes. Hooligan boss? Well, what tax? New Year's Eve tax, buddy. I mean, cigs and beer have a luxury tax on him, don't they? <laughs> so good times on New Year's cost a little extra, too. Why would I pay that to you, then? Just get out your goddamn wallet. That's the lamest shit I've ever heard. Yo. Get out of here, you little punks. Huh? Who the hell are you? I was just cruising by. It's New Year's Eve. Oh, it's New Year's. Uh, can't just let people chill tonight. Or can't you just let... Can't you just let people chill tonight? Sorry, but we're open for business on the holidays. So if you want to mess with our business, we'll just have to bust up yours. Oh, pretty scary. But low lowlifes like you give Kamurocho a bad name. I'm not about to stand for that. <laughs> Grr. Get off your fucking high horse. Fuck it. Let's kill this guy. I hope I pass the five minute mark, right? Okay, I'm well past the five minute mark. <laughs> because. Menacing men. Because I heard that if you curse five minutes into your stream, you, you get in trouble or something? I don't know. Or if you curse many times, like more than once. I don't know. Or I think that's a YouTube thing. Uh, select skills to unleash your special attacks. There are three types of skills. Attack, recovery, and support. On-screen prompts may appear during attack skills, which offer opportunities to deal extra damage by pressing X repeatedly or pressing Y at the right time. Skills cost MP mental points to uh, activate. Your current MP can be seen as a green gauge at the bottom right. 
Keep an eye on it. Okay. All right, let's do this. Uh, Tenacious Fist. Ooh. Wait, I can't dodge? Oh, oh, perfect. Perfect guard. Press B in time with the enemy's attack to perform a perfect guard and decrease damage taken. So B? Okay. Well, B for block, so it's it's intuitive. You can perform a perfect guard any time Kasuka is standing, much like the guard command. A perfect guard will also defend against the bleeding and stun the status effects, so strive for perfection. Oh man, this is going to turn into uh, a Kingdom Hearts where like Sora keeps using the like, the block attack? or Oh! Oh! Perfect guard, uh, but I didn't, I didn't flow with it. Man, this is like a rhythm game type of thing. Oh! He's eating pavement. Oh! <laughs> That's like an awesome dodge. You just back roll, back barrel roll. Try doing that in real life. Oh! Damn it, you're dead next time I see you. What? Wait, why are you talking in Japanese? I, I put everything in English. <laughs> no sweat, buddy. But for real, Kamurocho is more dangerous than usual on New Year's. Everyone's drunk and waving their cash around. It's easy pickings out here tonight, so be careful, okay? Hi. I will. Thank you very much. I guess I better get that damn plunger from the lady at the cigarette shop. Alright, so I'm an errand boy. Running errands. Oh, okay, so... So they speak in Japanese um, as, like, sound effects, or... Like, whenever I bump into someone. Okay, so they didn't, they didn't dub those. Those things. But I chose, I chose English because, um... The Yakuza... Yakuza voice actors do a pretty good job dubbing, so um, I don't have a problem with playing an English dub for a Japanese game like this. And they sound pretty good so far. Yeah, if you have one, could you run into Shangri-La? Just buy one for them. They raised you for crying out loud. A man your age should be sending money to his family anyway. You think I can afford that? I'm barely scraping by as is. Well, then you need to leave that sorry Arakawa family and join a family with some real push, kid. Sure, you'd be their gopher for a while, but that'd still be better than how you're living now, right? You're an idiot. I swore an oath to Arakawa-san, and I never abandoned him. Aren't you an obedient little dog? Hey, I heard something real cute about you. You're babysitting Arakawa's kid? Ha! Ichi the nanny! Hey, look, the young master's the same age as me. He's not a kid. Young master? What is this, the 18th century? Besides, I'm not babysitting him. I'm his caretaker. He's been in a wheelchair since he was a toddler, you know? Oh, so he needs a big, strong Yakuza at his side every time he wants some fresh air? <sighs> Arakawa's going soft in his old age. Surprise, surprise. Hey, try saying one more word about Arakawa and see what happens. Hey, Aniki. Uh, 
So, did you give those high schoolers their money back? Yep. Never seen kids happier to see a Yakuza before. It all worked out. See, they ain't so bad. Dude, there's no reason to be happy about it. If we don't score big on our next job, the captain's going to kill us. I know that. What is our next job, anyway? It's a shakedown. Our mark borrowed 500k from a loan shark and hasn't paid back a single yen. And apparently, he's immune to Yakuza threats. But we thought we'd give it a shot, so we bought the loan. Well, let's go, man. The dignity of the Arakawa family is riding on us. <laughs> I hope that's not true. Hey, by the way, Captain Sawashiro said to pull out all the stops to get this money back. So we might have to rough him up. All right, so where is this clown now? I hear he hangs out around Public Park 3 a lot. I'll go on ahead and scope it out. Meet me over there, okay? All right. Time to head to Public Park 3. Oh, there's a game store. Okay, well, I'll go there later. Oh, Haniki! Is our guy here? Sure is. Look over there. That's Hiratsuka. <laughs> that dude, huh? Do you know him? Forget it. Let's go. Hey there, Hiratsuka-san. Enjoying a little break, are we? Having a smoke while you mooch your ass still owes a ton of money? Oh, you think we won't beat you to a pulp? That other family went easy on you, but we won't. The Arakawa family doesn't fuck around. If you don't want to get hurt, get out your wallet. Hey, you think I won't do it? I can't pay back what I can't pay back. That's all there is to it. I see you're still just coasting on your size, oh great Hiratsuka. How'd you know that nickname? Who the hell are you? Ah, oh, don't you remember, pal? We used to wrestle when we were kids. You thought it was so cool to powerbomb other kids. As long as you were the only one big enough to do it. Oh, I remember. You're Soapy Ichi. And if this guy's your pal... That must mean... <laughs> you ended up in the Yakuza. Shocker. And I heard you joined the JSDF only to flunk out and come crawling back here. Life's a bitch, huh? Yeah, it is. So deal with it somewhere else. No can do, pal. We gotta deal with it right here. Cause we're Yakuza. See, Yakuza orders are mandatory. And my orders are to get your wallet. So hand it over. I told you, I don't have any money! Come on, great son. Let's make this easy. All I need is your wallet. I don't want to get rough with you. You understand, right? <laughs> you saying that even a grown-ass man is scared of my power bombs? <sighs> I'm saying I don't want to see the strongest guy in middle school tap out. Be a shame if that was your peak. <laughs> Sounds like Soapy Ichi needs to taste the dirt again. You want it so bad? Try and take it! Here we go! Tag match, Aniki! Not this time! You be the referee! I want him all to myself! Huh? <sighs> Quit jabbering, and let's do this! Come on! Oh, man. Where did the hammer come from? Uh... Crap, crap, crap. Oh. Oh. Oh, perfect guard. Nice. Okay, uh, Tenacious Fist. Oh. Oh. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm doomed. No, no, no. Oh. The, the mallet's too heavy for you, huh? Oh. What is wrong with them? He can't do his finisher? Uh, skills. 
I'll get Tenacious first. Oh, here it's super defeated. Up. <laughs> Seriously, what does magic do? <sighs> You're still pretty strong. <sighs> but not strong enough. Say goodbye to your wallet. Please, beat me up if that's what your boss wants. But don't take my money! Is there nothing inside of it? Well, looky here. He did have the cash. This fucking lowlife had no intention of paying it back. Hey, wait. What are you doing? Hanaki! What? Just getting all the junk out of his wallet first, man. Looks more like money to me. All right, great son. Like I said, I only wanted your wallet. Huh? Oh. Okay. Okay, let's go, Mitsu. Hey, Hideki! Man, he's too good for... Uh, he's so much... Too much What's of a nice guy. With you? Why did you take the money? Hiratsuka won't screw us. He'll pay it off if we just give him time. How you figure that? You think he's out here working his ass off, doing construction on New Year's Eve just for fun? Didn't you notice what he was smoking? It was just a nub, man. He obviously just picked it up off the ground. Why'd he do that if he had so much cash? Because it's New Year's. He probably wanted to buy his mom a nice meal, so he got some cash out of the bank, you know? That doesn't mean it's okay to be late on his payments. Look. You know that old candy shop just past Showa Street? Uh, yeah, it closed last year, right? What about it? Hiratsuka's mom ran that shop. Really? She closed it because she got sick. Real sick. I went to see her in the hospital, and she was thin as a rail. But even so, she was happy, because her son was back in Kamarocho, taking care of her. So, that money Hiratsuka borrowed was... It was all for her hospital bills. Oh, no. Oh. But, dude, if we go back empty-handed, Captain Sawashiro's gonna kill us. We're not going back empty-handed. We were asked to snatch the dude's wallet. And look, that's exactly what we snatched. You know that's not what the captain meant. Hey, speak of the devil. For real? Hello, this is Ichiban. You're slow. I told you to pick up with the two rings. Sorry, Captain. Don't tell me you're still out there doing collections. Just finish up the last one, sir. I'm about to head back to the office. That'd be great. Except right now you should be with the young master. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'll be there as fast as I can. What good is that? He still has to wait for you. Why are you always slow as shit? I'm sorry, sir. Just move your ass. And don't take him anywhere dumb or dangerous. If anything happens to him under your watch, I'd have to kill you a thousand times. Yes, I know that, sir! So you gotta go play chaperone to the young master? Yeah, damn it. I can't believe I forgot. Me too. Take this back to the office for me. Oh, no! I'm not gonna be the one to hand this in to the captain. You just let me know when the young master lets you off your leash. I'll kill time until then. Oops. Game sensor Atlantis? Wait, do I use the taxi? I need to get to the young master's apartment complex. Oh, that's easy. Where is he? Hey, miss! 
Where's the young mess? I, I mean, have you seen Masato Arakawa? I'm very sorry, but I haven't seen him today, sir. Oh, damn it. I'm late, young master. Something came up while I was doing collections. Anything else you want to announce? Masato Arakawa. Forget what day it is? Uh, of course not. It's Yumino san's birthday, right? You didn't come without a gift, did you? No, I brought something. It's just I didn't have much, so it's not the greatest. <laughs> Whatever. As long as you didn't tell Dad about this, you did it. Did you? Of course not. If he asked where we went, just tell him we went shopping. Yes, sir. The old fool. He still treats me like a child. He's just worried about you. You mean a lot to him. Don't talk like you know me. Uh, sorry. Yeah, that guy's a kind of a jerk. Sexy grace. You okay, young master? I'm fine. We're almost there. Wait, don't go in yet. Duck in here for a sec. Uh, um, okay. What is that? Whoa. What the? What is that? The latest and greatest ephedrine injector. I had it imported. Uh, ephedrine? It's a specialized performance enhancer. It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, so even someone with my condition will be able to stand and walk just like anybody else. The effect will be immediate. But it won't last more than a few hours. But how... Uh, how did you get something like that? Today is my woman's birthday. I can't embarrass her by going in there like this. That sounds crazy, though. Don't you think it's kind of risky? No. It just hasn't been approved for use in Japan. That's all. Injected here. Whoa. Uh, None of this sounds good to me, young master. We don't really know what else it might do to you. You're a fucking wuss. He gonna inject himself. Oh no, don't do it. Don't do it. You don't. Oh my god. He injected it into his heart. Young master? Young master? Your master! Is <laughs> this only lasts for a few hours? Let's go. 
Young master? Wait, but his wheelchair. Are they surprised that he can walk? Yeah, I guess as a regular, he... He comes by in a wheelchair, like, all the time, basically. Good evening, Masato-san! Oh my goodness, are you all better? I can't believe it! Hey, where's Yumino-san? Um, we'll call her as soon as we can. Soon as you can? You better mean now. Well, you see, she just sat down with another customer. She's been very busy today because it's her birthday. Hey! I just need a minute with him to explain our situation. Don't worry, I'll be nice. Oh man, he's ticked off. I mean, the serum only lasts for a few hours, so... Something wrong, sir. Hey. Yeah, where's Yumino-san? Hi. Yumino-san is at that table over... Er, she must have left. I believe she got requested by another guest. We're rather busy today, Kasuga-san. Hmm? Hmm? Is, Maso is Masato-san really healed? Er, it's complicated. Oh, does that mean you'll be released from indentured servitude? No. Dumbass. I'm not some kind of slave. This is an important job. But isn't Masato-san a civilian? So, why would he need a Yakuza like you following him around? <sighs> no one asked you. Now, where's Yumino-san? Mm. Mm, sorry, but you'd probably find her faster if you looked for her yourself. Go. Is that how you treat your best customers? You know how many bottles we bought last week on Christmas? Technically, Masato-san ordered them, not you, right? <clears throat> oh, give me a break. Fine. I'll go look for it myself. You got a problem? Or oh, wrong person? Um, is Yenomo-san around? Nah, not here. Try over there. Who are you? Not that it matters. Let's drink. Yeah. Uh, maybe next time. Is Yumino-san around? No, this is Yumeko-san. What? Am I not good enough? I don't know. Oh, good timing. Can I get a hand towel? Uh, sorry, I don't work here. i to make you the number one girl. That would be amazing. Doesn't look like she's here. Oh, that's the exit. Ah, oh, found her. Sorry it's so busy today. Nothing to be sorry about. If you didn't have customers on your birthday, I'd have to assume everyone else here was blind. <laughs> Who are you? Mm, well, um, how should I put this? I'm the young lady's escort for tonight. <laughs> Ichan, what are you doing? 
I believe this club is first come, first served. No need to make things complicated. Let's just say we came first and leave it at that. You understand. <laughs> what the hell is this? I'd ask you the same. You're the one being unreasonable. What? I, I have reasons, so shut up! This is ludicrous. Ludo what? Use some normal ass words! <laughs> you said you'd be civil. You're causing a scene, you moron. Sorry. Please excuse my companion here. He's usually better behaved. I find that hard to believe. This place doesn't really do the first come, first serve thing. You see, in this industry, they can't treat every customer equally. The guys who spend big get better service. It's supply and demand, that's all. <laughs> that's so. Besides, that's my girl. I see. I knew you'd understand. Since I've disturbed you, would you let me buy you a drink? Pick anything you'd like. And don't worry about the price. No, thank you. I don't need a drink. <laughs> Not the drinking type. Well, then you'll be needing this to try your luck with another one. Insist. Why insult me by refusing? How no, thank you. My position requires me to exercise some level of discretion when accepting gifts. Where do you get off acting so high and mighty? You've got guts. I'll give you that. What's your name? I suppose you won't stop bothering me until I show you. Tokyo Police Department? A senior commissioner? Oh, crap. Unfortunately, I also have to be discreet about who receives my business card. <laughs> wow. Are you even allowed out this late? At a place like this? <laughs> no law against it. Now, why don't you take the lovely lady back to your seat already? Cheers! Cheers! Happy birthday, Yumino-san! Such fancy drinks, Yumino-san! You spoil us! Thank you! Hey, aren't you thanking the wrong person? He's right. You two should thank the man who bought them. We're very grateful, Masako-san. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. I mean, it is the most expensive bottle in the house. Only natural they'd forget themselves a bit. How often do they get drinks like that after all? Young master, I'm sorry about all that earlier. That guy thinks he's too good to accept my generosity? Not like he can afford to as a cop. Does he come here often? No, this was his first time. So, Yumino-san. What did he get you for your birthday? Oh, stop. Just the fact that he's here is enough for me. Really. Aw, you two are so cute. I'm jealous. I want a boyfriend like Masato-san. Eiji, show her yours first. Uh, sure. I, I'm not really used to this kind of thing, though, so... Just do it! Sorry! I know it's not much. What is that? Uh, I had a lot of trouble figuring out what to get you. And you're the young master's woman. I, I mean, his girlfriend. So, that's even harder. But this was the most expensive one they had. 
promise. <laughs> what? No, it's just... <laughs> My mother has the exact same one! <laughs> huh? Oh, wow. Hey, come on. <laughs> the name Ichiban means the best. But I guess there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> we should start calling him Ichi Bad. Am I right? <laughs> Man, what a, what a, You're so what a clever. Jerk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? Here. And Masato has like the most stiff face ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh. No way. Is that diamond studded? Uh, is this real? That's my Hey goal. Ari, how's it going? I knew you'd appreciate its worth. How how much was it? About the price of a condo. What? A high end one. Not just some dump, of course. What? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, thank you. I don't know how I could ever repay you. <laughs> don't worry about it. I guess my next gift will have to be an actual condominium. For us. Yubino-san, can I have you at the front for a moment? <laughs> really? Can't you read a room, kid? Ichi. Don't start another fight. It's the lady's birthday. Let her go. She's just in high demand. Right. Excuse me. I'll be right back. It's okay. Take your time. He's so nice! Well... Back to drinking. You have a captive audience for all your bullshit stories. But I don't want to just talk. Let's do something more intimate. Well, uh, we'd have to ask you, you know. Oh, she'd kill us for sure. But I'd still enjoy being your girl while I could. Uh, something's fishy. Can I pause? Oh, I could pause. All right. Um, let me give Ari a shout out very fast. You were playing Pharaoh, a new era. Never played the game, but it sounds cool. <laughs> I hope you're having a delightful evening, Ari. Oh, thank you for the shout. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I think I had one too many. Some wingman I am. Horino Uchi-san, wait! Uh, please, wait! I'm going home. I don't even want to breathe the same air as that punk. Who the hell is he? Masato-san? He's... Well, he's the son of a Yakuza. How do you stand the man? Well, of course to you, he's not a man. He's a big walking wallet stop this is serious it's starting to freak me out how much he spends and drinks what a just now he gave me something super expensive and said next time it'll be a condo so you could turn around and sell his trinkets the next day and if he found out what do you think he'd do to me <laughs> are you talking about violence <laughs> at the first hint of that i'll throw the bastard behind bars Yes, I know you would. And you're right. I should sell it tomorrow. What? <laughs> I didn't think there were still idiots walking around believing money can buy them love. <laughs> All that matters is you're not one of them. Now get back out there and squeeze him dry. <laughs> okay. What See a, you later. What a bitch. Man, it's such a twisted world. <sighs>
Man, it's on them for not checking the stalls if it's occupied or not. What? Young master? How long have you been there? Um, young master? Did you hear the whole thing? So, did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. What? That's not how you, how you treat your bros. Oh, they can't tell who's in the stalls because the doors are friggin' like hide everything. They don't show the feet. Bonnie King, are you done babysitting the young master? Yep. Let's meet up at Cedar Square and walk to the office. Sounds good. All right. Um, I love that game as a kid, and the master is great so far. Damn. <laughs> Does it have anything to do with the mummy, <laughs> like with uh, Brandon Fraser? <laughs> Maybe not, but I love those movies, though. No, it does not. <laughs> yeah, I figure. What the? Burnout Bully? What is this? A, is this like a Pokemon game? I didn't even... I wasn't even the least bit intimidating to you. Like, why, why pick a fight? Kamulite Tasty? Oh man, I'm so hungry right now. Wait, what the? That's not even food, it's like... Oh, this is food. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I knocked over... I knocked over the chairs. Oh, I did... I knocked over that one too. Uh oh. Hello. Ooh, man, the food looks. Uh, I think the food is realistic, like actual realistic food. Like <laughs> it's like they took a picture of the food and put it into the game. <laughs> but it's uh, it looks delicious though. Alright, have you played a Yakuza game before? If not, do you... are you interested in playing one? Pretty fun, so far. It's my first uh, Yakuza game. Oh, what the heck? Why are there so many street thugs? What? You're calling for backup? Uh... Tenacious Fist. Oh. I have not, it looks so silly, but in a good way. Yeah, it does. Well, they got Club Sega? Oh man. Well, this is a Sega game, so they could... They could advertise it all they want. Like, they don't have to change the name or anything, because it's a Sega game. Wait, what's that? What's that? Jonathan Amazon Plus? Oh, that's the arcade uh, rhythm game. I think they have those in round ones. Um, wait, wait, no, they do, they do. Uh, that's like one of the new systems. Oh, hey, buddy. I was waiting for you, Anarchy. 
Let's get back to the office. Alright, let's go back. Yeah, let's. What happened with that porn peddler? Sir, Aniki took care of him today. He won't ever pull that shit again without going through us first. Okay. And how much did you get from him? Uh, about that, uh... I gave the money back to the high schoolers who bought the videos. It was the fair thing to do, and the kids were grateful to our family. I see. And that debt we bought? Oh, yeah. Went off without a hitch. Here's the guy's wallet. Just as you requested, sir. All the money's there, including interest. Uh -huh. Wow, excellent work. Is that what you thought I would say? What? What do we do wrong? This bill strap is from the young master's bank. Ichi, what's the real story? <clears throat> there. There is no real story. The young master gave that to me. I swear. He gave it to you? Or did you beg him for it to make quota? Begging for scraps won't fix your incompetence. I didn't beg! I have too much pride to pull something like that! <sighs> You have pride when you can't earn for the family. <sighs> What's that look? Pretending it didn't hurt. You don't even know, pig. Not for a yakuza anyway. A yakuza takes real responsibility. Hey, bring me the knife. <sighs> What the? Do it. What's wrong? You don't know how real Yakuza atone? Fine. I'll show you. Ooh. If you're lucky, it'll slip right between the joints for a clean cut. If you're lucky. Good to see you, boss. Welcome back, boss. Welcome back, sir. Man, thank goodness the boss came back. Ichi, walk with me. Uh, yes, sir. Boss, you saved my ass back there. Can't you at least try to get along with Joe? Oh no, he hates my guts. Just because, well, I'm not much of an earner. Try putting yourself in his shoes. He's doing his duty as a family treasurer. Sure, I know that, but... It's like we just have different visions of what a Yakuza should be, you know? To me, it's more about duty and standing up for people, not money. And it's okay to see things differently. That's the strength of the Arakawa party. S sorry party? <laughs> it's not so different than those games you like, is it? Everyone has a certain skill they bring to the table. Some people are like you, charging in headfirst without a thought. Others cover your ass like Mitsu, and some are better at cracking the whip. That's Joe. All of these people keep the organization running. Yeah, and you're the king of them all. The king? <laughs> to me, all of you are more like sons than subjects. <laughs> Speaking of, 
You looked after Masato today, right? Yes, sir. Sorry to keep asking you to help me with something so personal. How was he? F fine. That's good to hear. These days, he doesn't even answer my calls. I may be king of the Arakawa family, but to my other family, it's nothing but a title. <laughs> well, Ichiban, why don't we go get our last meal of the 20th century? Yeah, sure. Did you see that? I guess nobody cares about PDA on New Year's. That reminds me. You find yourself a girl yet? No, sir. I'm like a reverse chick magnet. <laughs> Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Easy for you to say. You probably had girls all over you at my age. What? I won't abide such slander. No, oh, I... You use the past tense. Growing silver has only made me a bigger hit with the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of all the women over the years, there was only one. Just one I might have started a family with. Yeah? Yes. Masato's mother. Oh. I've never told you the details, have I? No, sir. I, uh, I do know that she passed away. Yes. Let me start on New Year's Eve 24 years ago. Dang, I was, I was just ago. a grunt in the Hikawa family, but the patriarch asked me if I'd marry his daughter. She was the young master's mother? Just listen. I loved someone else. Her name was Akane. Uh-oh. What did... I was naive. <laughs> I thought if I ignored my boss's daughter, she'd get annoyed and dump me. The whole time, I was dating Akane in secret on the side. I remember the moment she told me she was pregnant. Oh, man. I knew right then what I needed to do. I had to step up as a man. Problem was... I couldn't find the right moment to tell the boss about Akane and our child. By the time I worked up the courage to tell him, Akane was almost due. So I got down on my hands and knees and told the boss I already had a girl. He didn't let you off easy, I take it. Oh, he had his guys beat the shit out of me. I entered the new year barely able to move. If only it could have been over and done with then. Huh? The boss gave an order to the family. An order to kill Akane. What? Kill her? Yes. I couldn't believe it myself. But he was serious. Even though we were a small family, we were very good at making people disappear. And when we killed, the body was never found. That's what was waiting for Akane and me. For bringing shame to the Patriarch. <sighs> to this day, I have no idea how I got out alive. When I learned what was happening, I fled. I don't think they expected that after how badly they beat me. At the same time, Akane was at the hospital having the baby. <gasps> I called her and told her to leave as soon as possible. I knew Yakuza were already on their way to the hospital, so I made a plan. I told her we could meet at this cafe so we could skip town. Cafe Alps? Yes. I waited and waited, but she never came. But just as I was about to lose all hope, I got a call. Oh, you love a silver fox. <laughs> Akane! Hello? Where are you? I thought they caught you. Our, our baby is here. Huh? Our son. What? Nay, I got away, but... They're not far behind. I... I have to keep moving! 
Where are you? I'll come get you. Shinjuku Station. Where's the lockers? Okay, stay there. Try to blend into the crowd. Honestly, they're here. What do I do? Akane, they're looking for a woman with a baby. Hide him in a locker and walk out. Keep a low profile. My poor baby in a locker? What are you saying? Uh, don't worry. I'll come get him as soon as I can. Once you're in a safe place, call the manager at Cafe Alps. Tell him where you are. Now hurry! Put the baby in a locker! <sighs> okay. Take good care of Ella. Akane. Hey! There she is! That's her! Go, go, go! Oh no. Hey! Akane! Where's the woman? Damn it! Where'd she go? Hurry up and find her! Shit! Oh shit. That's not good. How'd they know where he was? Did they like track his phone call? Baby's in the locker, oh my god. Hypothermia? This game is like, yeah it is. Damn. I rescued our child and ran to a hospital. The doctor examined Masato and said he had multiple organ failure due to low body temperature. Oh no. So that's why the young master is in a chair. Yes. It was that cold inside the locker. And apparently, if I had found him five minutes earlier, it could have prevented the complications. What? Boss, it wasn't your fault. I mean, you got there as soon as you could. I just want to apologize to you. You're burdened with Masato's care because of me. I don't think of it that way, sir. That's a I life. never saw Akane again after that. A she life. ran to a bar she knew, but... The Hikawa family was already there. Oh no. As I was taking Masato to the hospital, they were taking her away. They killed her. No. Oh. A few days later, the patriarch and several of his men disappeared. The Hikawa family had ceased to exist. Wait. Did you? Oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> Sorry for rambling on and on, but 
There is something I've always wanted to tell you, even if only by oath. I consider you a son as well. Oh, jeez, sir. That's... Well, enough gloomy talk. Let's eat, hmm? I'm starving. Me too. Damn, I was not expecting this game to be so serious and shit. Yeah. <laughs> it really gets you riled up sometimes. I was like on the edge of my seat. Well, seeing as I'm the king and all, how about we feast on the king of Chinese food? What could that be? Oh, gyoza! <laughs> no, not gyoza. Peking duck. Oh, just like his father. Duck. Is that even edible? <laughs> mm -hmm. The duck is dried in the sun, then roasted. And the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. Oh. You peel off the perfectly brown skin, wrap it in seasoned dough. Then your mouth is filled with the sweet and spicy fragrance of the sauce. Damn, that does sound good. That does sound good. <laughs> yes, which is why in ancient China, only the imperial court ate it. Oh, so it really is the king of Chinese food. Yep, but I wonder if we can find it in Kamrochu. There's gotta be a place serving it somewhere. Well, they don't have Google Maps, I guess. <laughs> or, uh... They can't Google it to see, like, oh, if it's in the vicinity or not. But a Peking, Peking Duck restaurant. Okay, just follow the arrows. I mean, all these clothes look pretty recent, right? So they should, they should be able to use their phones to look this up. Follow the pink arrow. Well, what is that? Maru? Maruhan? Alright, here we go, here we go. It's closed. Seriously? Hey! You guys open! We need pancake job! <laughs> Relax, Jibam. It's almost the new year. The employees are probably at home waiting to ring it in with their families. Man, I really wanted to try it though. <laughs> Another time, I promise. Yeah? Thank you, sir. <laughs> that duck got lucky today. But he won't get away from us next time. 2001? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Have a good New Year's, you two! Ichiban, what have I told you? Oh, sorry. Be careful where you laugh outdoors. The only time a Yakuza should laugh with his teeth is when he's with family or when he's in deep shit. I know. Right. Reputation is everything for a Yakuza. Got it, sir. Well, since we missed our shot at the duck, shall we go to our usual Oden place? <sighs> Sounds good. Now, what's wrong, Ichi? You look like you're about to shit yourself. Fuck off! <laughs> Don't you stop by to help out at home every now and then? Uh, not for a while, I guess. You should treasure the place where you grew up. It's not like it was the most normal place for a kid to be. No matter how it happened, home is home. One day you won't be able to go back, you know.
23 years ago, on January 1st, I came into this world screaming inside this sleazy soap land. Oh, he was born in that? My mom worked at Soaplands. Even popped me out in one. Then she disappeared. I didn't know that till I was older, when Dad told me. I say Dad, but we weren't related by blood. He was the owner of the Soapland that took me in. Don't know who my other dad is. Probably some guy who dropped in for a wham bam thank you, ma'am. A <laughs> wham bam thank you. Hey, can someone keep an eye on Ichiban? Oh, come here, Ichi. Hey, it's my turn to hold him. <laughs> I was raised by this city's working class folks. Well, that's the old lady, but young. Alright, Sonny, it's been fun, but I gotta get to bed now. Hope you have a great rest of the stream. Alright, have a good night, uh, Ari. Good night. According Thanks for society, stopping by. All those people who raised me are scum. Well, I suppose that would make me scum too. Well, what? N never! You're everything I want to be! You're like a god! <laughs> So, first I'm a king, and now I'm a god? When I met you, I had just graduated middle school. After my foster dad died. I dropped out of school and just started drifting. Just picking fights, shaking people down for easy money. But karma always catches up to a dumbass punk. Eventually, I beat up the wrong guy, a Yakuza. So yeah. His crew locked me in a Yakuza office and beat the shit out of me. I thought I was a goner, but I made one last ditch effort to live and yelled out a name. Arakawa. What? The Arakawa family. If you kill me, they'll hunt every last one of you down. In those days, the name Arakawa the Assassin was like a whispered threat. I didn't give a shit about Yakuza or who they were at the time, but I knew that name. And I thought if I name-dropped them, maybe they'd freak out and let me live. You're saying you're Arakawa? <laughs> a kid like you? But my plan backfired. Big time. Turned out, these guys were in a huge turf dispute with the Arakawa family. One of your little brats damn near beat my boy to death. Says his name's Ichiban Kasuga. Oh, he ain't getting away. Not in the sorry state we put him in. You want him back, you better send Patriarch Arakawa personally. I knew the jig was up. I'd never even met Arakawa, so obviously he wasn't gonna come. Maybe we ought to just kill him, Oniki. Arakawa ain't gonna show his face to pick up his trash. Looks like you're shit out of luck, you little brat. Oh. <gasps> Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa-san! The little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation. Somebody's got to take responsibility. I see. Well, how about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> All 
right then. Let's go, yellow shit. Dang, he sliced off his pinky. Uh, I. What? You. You saved my life. Why? How can I think? Oh. Save your blubbering gratitude. That finger wasn't for you. I'm a Yakuza. For us, reputation is everything. My face, my name, they mean something. What do you think it would have meant if I begged them to betray you? The whole Arakawa family would have paid for it. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. I did the only thing that would preserve my family's cred. Not the only thing. You could have just said you didn't know me. Why not do that? Why not, indeed? Maybe I wanted to make an impression on a kid who knew my name. <laughs> and at that moment, I saw my life's path ahead of me. It was following this man. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Back the fuck up! Oh. How many times I gotta say this? We got no cups for punks like you. Never mind the kid, Joe. I didn't care how often they ignored me or what they said. I stood outside that office every day. In the pouring rain. Under the scorching sun. Welcome back, Patriarch Gorakawa! Who's he? You know him? Go on ahead, Masato. Kid, the Yakuza isn't something to aspire to. Haven't your parents explained that to you? I don't have parents, sir! I had a foster dad, but he's dead now! Come on. Sir! It'd been 100 days since I'd met Arakawa-san. I guess 100 days from when he like, Man, first saved Odin him. is always so freaking good. Thanks for treating me, boss. Sure thing. He looks drastically different with that haircut. I can't believe this game is in 2001. Or, like, the date is 2001. Hey, it's almost time for the countdown. Or hey, it's... stop it! It's 2000. <laughs> You came here alone on New Year's Eve. That means you're looking for one thing. Leave me alone! Quit acting like you're too good for us. Let's have some fun. Sometimes it's the scum of society that has to do the cleaning up. Hey! A new century's about to start, and I know you don't want to spend the first week lying in a hospital bed. Get out of here before an old man has to crack some skulls. The hell you say? Keep out of this. Who the fuck are you? Tojo clan, Arakawa family. Now get your drunk asses away from the lady here. Time to go home and listen to the New Year's bells like good boys. Hold on, are you guys Yakuza? 
<laughs> They've gotta be. Look, he's got the hair and everything. Yeah, plus they're wearing costumes straight out of a mafia movie. You fuckers better not be making fun of us! Hey, boss, leave this to me! It's been a few years since I saw you fight. Hopefully you're stronger now. Uh -oh. Just wait till you see what I can do. All right. Street talks. Uh. Wait, I can use skills. Nation's best. Oh crap! I didn't. I didn't have it. Oh crap. Oh. oh. Oh, one hit. Oh, crap. Cool. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't time that. Okay, miss? <laughs> Get away from me! What? I just saved hey, your life. At least thank the boss. It's fine. Just forget it, Ichi. Remember, we're Yakuza. Yeah, I get it. Now then, I'll see you later, Ichi. You better show up at the office next year. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for the world. Good night, boss. <laughs> you too. Man, he's such a badass. Now, I wouldn't mind another drink. Wait, which games came out in 2005? Lucky Soda, Boss, Super Beer. Sir, you have to wake up. Wake up, now. <clears throat> oh shit, fell asleep. It's dangerous to fall asleep outdoors, you know. Can I see identification? Uh, identification? Yes, like your license. A violent crime was committed out here recently. A violent crime? What happened? Shit, my wallet's gone. Uh, you see why you shouldn't sleep out here? You need to file a stolen item report now. I'm busy, so you'll have to go down to the station. Hey, Alvin Sara, what's up? Hi, boss. First of all, Happy New Year. Sorry to call you first thing in the morning, Ichi. No problem. I'm up and ready to seize the day. Can you come by the office? Sure thing. You want to go out for the first shrine visit of the year? No. Just come to the office. Try to be inconspicuous. Uh, okay. You got it. Wait, Elvin, you played this game before? Nice. Well, no spoilers, because I this is my first time playing it. This is actually my first Yakuza game. But on a whim, and it's one of my favorite games. Nice. I mean, it looks really good so far. And the story's com very compelling, too. A lot of officers out here on a ho oh, and on a holiday. Oh, yeah, that one cop said there's been a crime or something. 
Arakara san said to be inconspicuous. Guess I should take the back streets. Gotta be a backstreet boy. Okay, let, let's not say that. None done all. Hold up. What family you from? Arakawa. And don't you forget it. Oh yeah, asshole? How about you don't forget your place? Oh yeah? And who the fuck are you? The Sakaki family, dumbass! The Sakaki family? Battle is on! Looking a bit cocky. Sakaki family. Oh, oh god. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> I go all the way to this guy. <laughs> oh god. Uh, my timing is way off. Spoiler, uh, spoiler alert, the story is actually fucking amazing. Oh god. <laughs> I'm trying to time it, but it doesn't it doesn't connect. Mm. What? Stricken with fear. More tenacious fist. Fuck you! You're gonna regret this. What the hell was that about? Probably nothing. We've always got some kind of beef with the Sakaki going on. Oh shit, that took a while. Gotta head into the office. Oh, here we go. Get to the office. Hurry. <laughs> Ichiban. Ichiban, lipstick for men. Boss? Good morning. Oh, Ichi. Have a seat. Someone's Sir. been drinking. And smoking. Stop. Just sit down. Uh, sure. <laughs> Dude, stop outing me. <laughs> you know the Sakagi family, right? You mean the family we've been fighting with? Hmm. We're fighting them because of a rumor that they're connected to the Omi. But aren't the Omi all the way out in Kansai? Yes. They control the entire region. They're much bigger than most people realize. The Tojo clan has butted heads with them for years. It's a bitter rivalry. And what? The Sakaki family's cooperating with them? No. The Sakaki family isn't stupid enough to commit outright treason. But they have been selling intel to the Omi for some quick, easy cash. <sighs> I confronted them about it at an officer's meeting. But their patriarch pretended not to know anything. Bastard traitor. Long story short, they don't like us much right now. But at the same time, they still report directly to our main family. So we need to be careful. We don't want to cause the main family any trouble. That said, did something happen? Two hours ago, I got a call from Joe. 
He he shot the Sakaki Yakuza. Oh no. Really? Apparently, he just happened to run into one of them. They were both alone. No other men. It was one on one. They talked shit to each other for a bit. Then Joe pulled his gun. Luckily, no one saw them. But the police have already found the other guy's body. It's only a matter of time before they raid our office. <sighs> if word gets out that our captain killed someone from a family above ours, it will be considered mutiny. We'll be expelled from the Tojo clan, and our tiny family will go up in smoke. Dang. You see why I can't let Joe get arrested for this. Man, that's why he's been drinking a lot. Ichi, would you be willing to take his place? As captain? Are you serious, boss? I mean... I've been waiting for a shot like this. This is my chance to finally repay my debt to you. After everything you've done for me. Let him lock me up for 10 or even 20 years. I'd be happy to do it for you. Ichi. Man, the feels. Hey, Moody Abigail. Thanks so much for the lurk. Wait, let me uh, give you guys a quick shout out. I didn't give uh, Elvin a shout out yet. I was too enthralled by the, uh, the cutscenes. Nice, you were playing Final Fantasy IV. Oh, Elvin, I was playing the new uh, Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line uh, Final Fantasy game. Uh, it's the rhythm game that came out on the Switch and also on the PS4. Um, I unlocked most of the Final Fantasy IV songs, and uh, they were pretty they were pretty nice. And then they also had remixes of the uh, Final Fantasy IV songs in like different games, and uh, that was. Yeah, it was a it was a fun it was a fun playthrough. I didn't perfect the songs though. <laughs> the button presses are so uh, so on point, and I couldn't get like a perfect score with those. But yeah, it looks fun, but I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, yeah, I played it last uh, Saturday. No, no, no! I don't want to skip it. Hey, me too. Thanks. Good job surviving another year. <laughs> we made it to a new century. Oh, yeah. Guess so. Damn, you sound pretty bored for a birthday boy. What's up with you? Hey, you going to your first shrine visit of the year? How about we do Kamaro again? You do it, and have a good time. I'm not going. Huh? Why not? Something came up. Did Captain Sawashiro spring something on you? Yeah, basically. Man, the new year's barely begun and he's already working you like a dog. No holidays for the Yakuza. We work 365 days a year. So you're gonna be busy all day? Me too. How old are you right now? Uh, 20, if you really want to know. Why? So in 10 years, you'll be 30. In 20, you'll be 40. Great math, dude. What are you getting at? <laughs> Great math, dude. <laughs> Just eat well and live life to the fullest, man. Um, uh, you feeling okay? <laughs> I'll call you later. All right. Oh, 
For my last meal, let's go with the beef bowl. Oh, I'm going to prison? Oh. Man, how far is this place? Right. No, that's a dead end. Wait, I think I uh, missed a message from Elvin. I don't know if it's a sequel, but they're making another JRPG style Yakuza because this one did so well. Oh, nice. I can't wait for the next game they make in the style. I mean, I heard that they are uh, getting rid of the Yakuza name because they had some like trouble with it. But um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do this last thing and then I'm, I'll call it for the night because uh, I, gotta, I gotta get some sleep. Oh. They kicked the sign. No! Oh. I stole some tuna onigiri from those men. Mm. Alright, let's get some grub. Ooh, look at the CGI. Might be my last meal as a free man for a while. Screw it. Yo, hit me with one more. Huh? <laughs> sure. Coming right up. Another beef bowl. It pains me to say this, Ichi, but you've been banished from the family effective last month. What? What? I'm banished? If only he'd been from a family outside the clan, I could have merely expelled you. But this man, not only was he Tojo, he reported directly to the main family. But being banished, doesn't that mean I can never come back? Don't worry, I'll be working on that personally. I'll have the whole thing reversed by the time you get out of prison. Thank you, boss. And perhaps banishment will work in our favor. The court will go easier on you now that you're just a civilian. Don't let them do their worst. I can handle a few years in the can. Oh, man. He ate like five you beef bowls. You gotta every last moment, don't you? <laughs> While eating a beef bowl, for sure. <laughs> While eating a beef bowl, for sure. <laughs> Come back soon. find your wallet well if not you might as well file a theft report inside wait hold on uh, did I miss anything no I didn't miss anything We find the defendant, Ichiban Kasuga, guilty of murder. He is hereby sentenced to 15 years in prison. 15 years? What? Dang. Okay, well. 
All right, chapter two. Bloody reunion. Summer 2002. Hey, 15 years in prison? Oh no, they're... Uh, chopsticks? Did they even wash their hands? Mr. Box. So you're gonna. Sir, I've completed my quota for the day. May I take a bathroom break? Very well. What, they're gonna mug me? Oh, that ain't good. Well, I gotta get let out with for good behavior, right? I mean, I'm not retaliating because I want to be good. So, where in the yard is he used to be Tojo Clan? Think you can be the perfect little prisoner and get back on the outside quick and easy? Ooh. Idiot, you're a murderer. You could act like a goddamn angel in here, but you won't be getting parole for at least ten years. So I'd say it's in your best interest to get along with us. <laughs> Not much to say, huh? Hey, what family were you in? That's a simple enough question to answer. Right. The Arakawa family. Arakawa? <laughs> you mean that little after school club of a family? Oh man, this is such a letdown. Here I was thinking we had a real gangster in the house. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> I said your family's a bunch of small-time punks. Your patriarch may have been Arakawa the assassin once, but that was a long time ago. I heard he's gone fucking soft now. You got locked up for that washed-up has-been, and you think it means something? Oh, that's so fucking cute. Buster, I'll kill you! <laughs> Try your best, little bitch. Oh, you fucking... What? You're gonna use a wrench on me? Oh, that's gotta hurt. Why'd you suddenly fight back? You took it for a whole year. Those guys had to be taken to the police hospital for crying out loud. You knocked all their teeth out. And they were talking shit about my boss. Your patriarch waiting for you on the outside? Yeah. They were calling him a nobody, saying all this bullshit about him going soft. I couldn't just let that stand. <clears throat> well, what's he gonna say when he hears the bad news? He won't hear it. That's why he beat their sorry asses. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your sentence getting extended. <laughs> I don't understand why anybody commits murder in the first place. But if there really is someone out there waiting for you, you should behave yourself. When someone believes in you, 
Try not to disappoint them. Dang, 15 years later? So that's 2007. 2017. Number 1119. Letter for you. Apparently it's from someone important. <gasps> it's from Harakawa-san. Dear Ichiban, I wanted to avoid writing to you while you're in prison, but today my brush just called to me. If your sentence hadn't been extended, I would be planning your big welcome back party right now. I can't tell you how sad I am that I can't do that. <laughs> the days have been so lonely without you. Sometimes I think I hear your laughter in the office, but I always turn around and see that nobody's there. Only a parent knows how truly empty a home can feel. Parents are nothing without their children. I'm anxiously waiting for the day when I will turn around and see your laughing face. 2019. P.S. The day you get out of prison, let's get that picking duck we missed. I'm so sorry! When I got into that fight, I wasn't even thinking about how long you had already been waiting for me. An extra three years I made you wait just because I did something stupid! I'm sorry I failed you. I held you up for so long, but I'm out now! I'm finally back! Uh, nobody's there for him. <laughs> Oh, it's just an old lady. <laughs> Did you not know they've gotten more strict about enforcing the anti-Yakuza laws? It shouldn't surprise you that bosses aren't pulling up in fancy cars at prisons anymore. In the letter, he said he'd come for me. Not gonna happen. Just too dangerous these days. Yeah. Thanks for everything. Dang, 18 years in prison. Uh, you really thought the welcome wagon was coming? Mm. Uh, of course, you being in the slammer for 18 years, only natural you'd be a bit mixed up. <laughs> Gotta say, that's some deep loyalty you've got. Waiting for a boss that never even visited you. Who the hell are you? Kanagawa Police. A detective? I uh, used to be. Now I'm just a washed up DMV grunt, one year shy of retirement. What's a guy from the slowest apartment ever doing here? Come to remind me to renew my license? Is that a service you offer nowadays? I'm here because I have real business with you. 
You, the murderer, who shot a man on the last night of the 20th century. Heck, I even used some precious PTO to be here today. Ah, well, sorry to disappoint you, but I don't plan on being a repeat offender. That's what everyone thinks when they get out. The moment they set foot on the other side of this fence. Shove it up your ass. You don't know shit about me. You were born and raised in Kamarocho, after being abandoned at the famous Shangri-La Soapland. The owner, Jiro Kasuga, took you in. Then he and his prostitutes raised you. Well, after that, it's by the book. You dropped out of school, committed multiple offenses of shoplifting and assaults, then finally joined the Yakuza at age 16. Oh, you had a largely unremarkable career as a member of the Dojo clan's Arakawa family. Well, till the night you killed an officer higher up on the food chain. Then, January 1st, 2001, you turned yourself in at Kamaro Police Station. Then, you were sentenced to 15 years at this prison. After getting an extra three years tacked on for bad behavior, we finally arrive at today, where you were just released about three and a half minutes ago. That about sum it up. Wow, you're my biggest fan for sure. You want an autograph to show your DMV friends? I just do my homework. Great, whatever. I don't care why you're here. Just get out of my way. There's somewhere I need to be. Oh, paying a visit to the Arakawa family? It ain't none of your business! Just leave me alone! Oh, but actually, it is my business. It very much is. Nothing personal, of course. Now, you're free to go wherever you feel like, but I'm coming with. What? Are you serious? What the... Whatever. Do what you want, man. Oh, I'm getting a new haircut. Uh, miss, I don't want to insult you, but... Uh, uh... What? What did you do to my hair? <laughs> uh, I tried. It's just when you asked for a punch perm, I had to look it up. The, the truth is, I've never done one before. A punch perm. Uh, how am I supposed to face the boss with a rat's nest on my head? <laughs> <laughs> His laughter is infectious. <laughs> what kind of look are you going for, man? Shut up! I just ended up with a bad barber, is all. The hell's your deal, anyway? You really gonna just keep following me? <laughs> I told you, I have business with you. But I'm waiting patiently for you to take care of yours. So, what's next? You're creeping me out, man. Give me a break. Uh, I wondered where you were going. Chikao Suzumori's grave, huh? Hold on. Isn't he the guy that was killed 18 years ago? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Okay, so... Who killed him? You're looking at him. <laughs> Get real. You think I'm joking? Uh, let me ask you this then. Why'd you kill him? I've been banished from the Arakawa family, and I just... I, I was so mad, I just did it. You killed someone just because you were pissed off. <laughs> what are you, a schoolboy with daddy's gun? Nah, you ain't that immature. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't be visiting the guy's grave. How do you even give a shit, huh? I know that 18 years ago, Susan Mori was shot and killed. But not by you. And yet, you turned yourself in to save your family. I mean, everyone knew you didn't do it. The director of criminal affairs, the judge, jurors. Come on, Kasuga. 
You served your time. Why are you still lying? Who really killed him? Me. I did it. <laughs> well, you're a real piece of work. Well, you're a big pain in my ass. When are you gonna drop the act? My act? The detective shtick. Why are you following me around? There's no way an old fart one breath away from retirement suddenly decides to babysit an ex-con. Who are you really? What the hell's your angle here, man? My angle. <laughs> well? Hmm, what's going on with that? Oh, it's the... It's the boss. He's got a beard. Arakawa-san. That's Arakawa. Who's this dude? That guy is Arakawa-san, isn't he? Why are you asking? Who the hell are you? You some kind of reporter? We don't do media, so get out of here. Go on, beat it. You don't understand. I used to be a member of the Arakawa family. If you were from the family, then we would know who you are. I've been in prison for 18 years. I just got out today. If you're gonna lie, you're gonna have to do better than that. Just let me talk to Arakawa-san. You'll be glad to see me, so let me through! Hey! Hold your horses there, dumbass. You don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah, they're busy visiting an important grave today. Go on, get out of here! Ah. I didn't do 18 years for this shit. Step aside. If you don't, they're gonna have two more graves to visit today! Battle is on! Oh, oh, crap, he, he shanked me. Uh, okay, I still have Tenacious Fist on him. Made inappropriate gestures? <laughs> Want some more? Enough, Kasuga. Hey, fellas, we're sorry. Okay? Well, my friend here, he's he's a little crazy. That's all. What the hell you say about me? Look, I'll give him a good talking to. Sorry about all this. We'll get out of here. Let go of me, damn it! Don't you get it? That's my boss. Boss! Arakawa-san! It's me! I got out today! It's Ichiban! Ichiban Kasuga! Did he hear me? Why didn't he recognize me? You were gone for 18 years. Isn't it possible he forgot who you were? Uh, no way! He didn't forget me! I mean, shit! He sent me a letter in prison! I'm sure he just didn't hear me. He's older, you know? His ears are starting to go and his eyes, too. Well, he definitely heard you. Pretty sure your eyes met, too. No, he didn't! I understand it's a hard thing to accept, Kasuga. 
Take a hint. Best case scenario, he simply forgot about you. If he does actually remember you, then clearly he doesn't want to talk to you. That's not true. There's just no way! I know the problem. What now? Think. Why would he be here? Visiting a grave, probably. Exactly. Visiting Susamori's grave. And I bet if he saw me standing right next to it, he'd recognize me on the spot. Yeah, all I gotta do is make sure he sees me right here, and... Hey, look at that. Whose grave is that? He's, uh, definitely visiting a different grave. Which one? That's... That's the former Omi chairman's grave. The Omi Alliance? The Yakuza who run Kansai? Why would he visit that grave? And with so many guys? It's a logical thing for him to do, since he's an Omi officer. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Listen here, old-timer. Those guys we just finished fighting said they were Arakawa. Didn't you hear them? Well, the Arakawa family is from the Tojo clan. Tojo clan! Everyone knows they've been at war with the Omi for ages. <laughs> you must have been a pretty shit detective, huh? <laughs> the Arakawa family isn't Tojo anymore. Oh. Huh? It changed. What did you just say? Masumi Arakawa is currently the acting captain of the Omi Alliance. He's the second in command. What are you talking about? That can't be true. I knew you wouldn't believe me. But think about it. Arakawa was the patriarch of a third string family in the Tojo clan. Not the greatest position, but the tides changed for him two years ago. You see, the newly elected governor of Tokyo promised to scrub the city of crime. He started with targeted attacks on all Tojo's sources of funding. He called it the Kamracho 3K Plan. The hell's that? An anti-Yakuza policy. Keep them hungry, keep them poor, and keep them out. 3Ks. The police started raiding major Yakuza families with surgical precision. Family officers were being arrested one after the other. There was just one exception. The Arakawa family. Huh? Ugh, that shouldn't come as a surprise. The reason the police were able to destroy the Tojo clan so fast was because they had inside intel. From the Arakawa family. Basically, Masumi Arakawa sold out the Tojo clan to the cops. What? No, Why? he wouldn't! <laughs> I'm not even finished with the story yet. With the Tojo clan almost completely wiped off the map, the Omi seized the opportunity and poured their guys into Kamurocho. And you know what the cops did? They looked the other way. Arakawa must have slipped them a little something under the table. Like what? I'm talking about a bribe, dumbass. Arakawa slipped the police some cash so they would ignore the Omi Alliance's expansion. And that's how they took control of Kamurocho without spilling a single drop of blood. To pay back the favor, they welcomed Masumi Arakawa into their organization as the acting captain. Meanwhile, in the eyes of the Tojo clan, Arakawa had committed high treason. So what little of the Tojo remains will occasionally attack the Omi, but it's pitiful. I'm sorry to tell you all this, but you had to find out sooner or later. Don't let it get you down. It had nothing to do with you. You okay? You feeling all right? Nothing is fucking all right! Yeah, didn't think so. <laughs> Our Kawasan defecting to the Omi? The Tojo clan is gone? You know what? You're a fucking terrible liar! So, you don't believe me? No way in hell it went down like that! Arakawa-san was like... the walking image of duty and honor! You saw him! 
he was visiting an Omi grave. Think about that. That wasn't Arakawa-san! I haven't seen the guy for 18 years, so how am I supposed to recognize him? He's in denial. Well, I think about it. That guy wasn't even wearing clothes that Arakawa-san would wear! Ah, uh, that was the exact clothes he wore. You do recall the men you fought identified themselves as Arakawa. Yeah. I... We must have misheard him! Where are you taking me anyway? This isn't the way to Kamurocho! We're going to Yokohama. What? No, I need to get to Kamurocho! I told you, there's nothing for you there. But come with me to Yokohama. As I've said, two of us have business to attend to. Enough mystery! What business? An investigation. You are gonna help me with it. Oh, fuck off! Why should I help you with anything, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think you had a choice in the matter? Soon we'll be in Kanagawa Prefecture, my jurisdiction. Now calm down, and let's have some peace and quiet, hmm? You know what? Stop the car right now, or else I'll fuck you up! Hey, Kasuga! If you won't come the easy way, I can make up a reason to do it the hard way. You want that? Oh, now the threats are starting, huh? Well, at least they make you seem like a real cop. Oh, is that right? Yeah, like any dirty cop. You're coming up with some bullshit story to trick me. So what is it you want? For me to do some of your dirty work? I can see right through you, fucker. What family in Yokohama are you from? Wow. I showed you my badge, remember? But I guess there's no cure for stupid. Ha! <laughs> you think I'm gonna fall for that bullshit? Hey, oh. what do you think you're doing, you idiot? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? <sighs> Kamrocho, obviously! Were you even listening to me? You really need to drop the detective act already. It's obvious you're Yokohama Yakuza. And hey, at least I'll get one hell of a story out of this, how I nearly got kidnapped right out of prison. Oh, you are such a dumbass. I have to go find Arakawa-san now. He's somewhere in Kamurocho waiting for me. Look, thanks for testing my instincts after I was in the joint for so long. Now see ya. I promise, Kasuga. There's nothing left for you in Kamrocho! Oh, damn it. I thought shit might go sideways. Guess he has to see it for himself. Oh boy. What the hell is that? It's a new smartphone. <laughs> Kamurocho, but everything's so different now. First things first, I need to stop by the office. Alright, so this is a good place to stop. Um, made it this far. Alright, let's save first. Uh, Alright, made it to chapter 2, and next week. No, I will not get to the office. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get some sleep. <laughs> but um, thanks, uh, thanks for, uh, thanks for everyone for stopping by and hanging out with me. I know I didn't talk so much because there's so much dialogue, so much voice dialogue that I couldn't really, um, like, interrupt. You know, interrupt the flow of the story. So, um, but hope you guys enjoyed Yakuza like a dragon so far um there's a lot more to the game it's like 45 hours of content <laughs> but um i'm only like two hours in two hours and a half but, but yeah it's a uh, 
it's a hefty uh, it's like a long game i was supposed to play it last saturday but there was like, issues with the file um i don't know what happened but um let me get ready for a raid um tomorrow you guys can look forward to cuphead the the delicious last course which is the initials are dlc so cuphead dlc <laughs> delicious last course <laughs> very uh very astute of them to make an acronym out of that um and then uh friday is a continuation for dead space uh, made it to chapter eight out of 12 so we're getting close to the end um uh, saturday will be my 200 follower um celebration stream uh, i'll be playing mighty number no. nine to his completion um and there will be uh two uh 25 dollar gift visa gift card uh raffles being held so uh drop on by and then uh do the command raffle and uh, you'll be entered into the raffle uh, but um yeah it'll be a fun time and then afterwards if i still have energy we'll play some like mario kart 8 deluxe or mario party superstars so yeah it's gonna be uh, a lot of a fun time <laughs> that's <laughs> so much fun all right so uh i i wish you all well and um have a delightful evening okay um all right let's see do, do, do who to raid Oh, Feitza. She's still. I'm surprised I was able to catch her now. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm gonna raid F F Felicia. Um, she's playing Final Fantasy VII, the original Final Fantasy VII. So, uh, yeah. Um, I haven't raided her at all because she normally like streams early morning for like us. Uh. Like the u.s residents like she's she's in uh europe so but um let's uh let's drop on by um let's see how close she is to the end of final fantasy 7. all right and then All right. Have a good night, guys. Take care. Oh wait, I'm I'm saying wrong. Bye, guys. Take care.